Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry I didn't post any video yesterday because uh, yesterday is a national holiday. So we've uh, paid a visit to another place. So I don't literally didn't have time for posting videos and to recording it. And on top of that, the Wi-Fi is not connected. So I can't post a video on YouTube. So please forgive me for that. But don't worry in today i will post two videos so that it will like equally for the previous day anyway so today i will tell you about my uh i just watched a movie today and i will tell you my review the plot of the film and what is the age i will recommend watching this movie so let's get started and as you can see at the title today our movie is Pass of Fury, The Legend of Hank. This movie has just published in my country, Vietnam, um, on the first on the first September 2022, like just like two days ago. Okay, so first, is the plot of this movie. So the plot of this movie is originally from the website called the Wikipedia. I will put the link in the description box below in case you want to uh, learn more about this movie or you find it interesting. Okay, so the plot. In a land inspired by feudal Japan and entire in inhabited by cats, Ikachu, a con conniving high ranking official of the land shogun, desires to expand his giant, pa his giant palace. However, it resides right next to the impoverished village of Kakamucho. Hoping to get rid of it, Ikachu plans to force Kakamucho's residents to abandon the town by sending a gang of, th of thugs led by his second in hand, Oha, to trash the town. The townspeople demand that the shogun appoint a new samurai to protect them after the perverse one flees. Ikachu, hoping to offend the townspeople, decided to decides to appoint Hank, which is a dark prisoner about to be executed as Kakamucho samurai. After an initial hostile reception, Hank relies on the assistance of Chimpo, a catnip adult samurai who re reluctantly agrees to chain him in order to overcome the townspeople's hostili hostility. While chaining with Chimpo, Hank manages to subdue Sumo, an immensely strong, dim-witted, yet philosophical henchman that Ikachu sent to drive, to drive out the townspeople quicker. The townspeople see Hank as a hero, but his newfound popularity ends up going to Hank's head and he neglects his training, which causes a fallout between him and Chimpo. Ikachu, Ikachu takes Hank to a private nightclub in order to distract him as he thug charged Kakamuto. Hank returned to a devastated town and after a heated argument with Chimpo, he decides to go home. But an origami finger of, of himself reminds him of his samurai oath. Chimpo, in the meantime, attempts to storm Ikachu's palace in hopes to free Sumo who was captured by Akachu's goons, Hang returns in order to help him out. Upon hearing about Sumo's escape, Ikachu recruits an army of thugs to get rid of Kakamucho for good. Hang returns to Kakamucho and explains his plan to defeat Akachu's army. Ikachu's army. The townspeople then built a perfect paper copy of the town and themselves at a diversion. When the raiders attack the fake town and its population of dummies, which have been booby chopped with dynamite, dynamite, Hank ignites the palm, the bombs, and the townspeople attack the thugs. The shotgun arrives, who questions the fighting. Olga accidentally exposes. Ikachu's plan on him, causing Ikachu to flee. Hank chases Ikachu to his palace, while it flies him on his giant jade toilet, which overflow their threatens to flood the town. Hank worms the Kakamucho townspeople of the incoming flood and lets them in the digging of a channel of a channel or something to safe, safely divert the water around the town. With Kakamucho saved, the impressed Shogun decides to appoint Jimpo as the new samurai of the town, but it gives the position to Hank. 
Kang, however, feels that he is not entirely ready, so he ends up giving the position to Emiko, which is a kitten who also desires to be a samurai. Hank and Chiupo continue to change in their own time with their relationship mended. In a post credit scene, a now imprisoned and soaking Ikachu consoles himself that list he will not have a part in sequel. And that's all about the plot of this movie. Basically, it touched about the moral of that um, the strength, each, each person has their own strength and we should not change it. Like, we should not change ourselves because of someone validation. Just be yourself and you'll find your place. And another moral I also learned from this movie is that the power of unity, yeah, the power of unity is that it can defeat all the enemy, uh, like, I don't know how to describe it, but like generally it's talk, it's uh, in terms of the power of unity of all the animals in the town. So that's all about the plot and some of the uh, like standout features you need to learn from this movie because each movie will have their own morals you can learn from. So that's all about the plot and some general uh, like general things and stuff about the movie The Legend of Hank and now is my review so uh, basically I think this movie is not like exceptional or a masterpiece that you definitely or a must-see movie I just think like this movie is really ordinary it have some part that exhilarating or fascinating but others but general on a whole it's quite like boring but I have to admit that this movie is really hilarious, especially the way the speaker voiceover sing the characters of this movie. I definitely love this part the most. And yeah, I think that I will rate this movie uh, 3.5 stars. Yeah, 3.5 stars. So, and the recommendation age, I think that of all people, all types of people can watch it elderly adults children etc so you can watch it with your families or your friends and and believe me it will make you crack up a lot so yeah that's about the movie and i just make it as short as, short as possible because i need to i need to make the second podcast which is today i really swarmed so the legend of hank and i'll see you in the next podcast I would do it right away. So, bye.